Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania with Justin Fays, the uh, sovereign citizen frauditor guy that I covered uh, just a few days ago whose uh, wife ended up getting a number of traffic tickets and uh, who lawyers didn't really want to represent. I will have a link to that in the description below. But in this video, he decides to go a bit further and call more lawyers uh, about the issue. And, uh, well, the results are freaking hilarious. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So at this point, we're just calling lawyers. We're trying to get in contact with somebody that could, you know, see that they're breaking the Constitution by violating. They actually just told the car today. This is probably like an hour or two after they told it. I'm just calling lawyers back to back. I'm, my head is everywhere, so I'm just recording now. I'm going to show these calls. I'm, I'm documenting everything because... I want somebody to learn from this, um, and more importantly, I, I need this on my behalf. Um, I'm trying my hardest to figure things out. Um, this is this is this is wild, guys. So let's just keep making these calls. So I'm I'm basically just calling anybody that has uh, free consultations because I need to get them to know what's going on. So imagine paying to let everybody know and they can't even help you. Doesn't make sense. Um, Closes soon. Okay, so we gotta we gotta get this call out. Scratchy lost. How may I help you? Hello, this is Justin. I'm I'm actually calling um because I'm looking for a lawyer that deals with the constitutional rights. Which one? Um, honestly, whoever um whoever and anybody. And what what, what which constitutional right are you? Give me a little bit of background. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So, um, they violated the 14th Amendment, which is the right to travel. Now, he is correct. We do have the right to travel, but the issue comes up whenever, uh, like I've said in many of the other uh, soft tar videos that I do, is when you decide to travel on the roadways driving a uh, vehicle. Or a motor vehicle or a personal conveyance, as some of these idiots like to talk about. Now, one of the lawyers he's about to talk to brings this exact thing up. And, uh, well, I won't spoil it for you because it's part of the hilarity of the video. So, let's carry on, shall we? Who did? Uh, Bethlehem Police Department. Okay, and... Oh, uh, and and so so do you want? Okay. Were... Yeah, yeah. So um, so I actually unregistered my uh, automobile, and I'm I'm saying automobile instead of vehicle intentionally, just just so you know, because I'm using the correct verbiage, and I don't want um you know misinformation out there. Now later on, he's going to cite a Black Slaw Dictionary Fourth Edition as his. Uh, source for these definitions that he will be putting out and that he has already put out but here's the thing uh his source might be a bit well off considering that i was using a uh, black's law dictionary uh revised fourth edition for this video right here and i can put the link in the description box below as well with that being said the definitions between uh automobile and uh, motor vehicle according to black's law dictionary revised fourth edition are essentially the same damn thing there is no difference i don't know where you got this bullshit about them being totally different from each other but that's uh, probably pulled right out of your ass i'm sure that's where it came from so let's continue on shall we so uh my wife was actually uh traveling in the automobile and um police officers unlawfully stopped her the initial reason for the stop was tense but they never ticketed her for the tense then they went on to um hold the the stop for over 40 50 minutes i believe it was an hour um but don't quote me on that and uh 
and we she stated multiple times she was reserving her rights because no crime was committed which well as i said you can go back and look at the video and see a lot of the traffic violations that were committed including uh no registration or anything like that and second of all uh the ucc code that you see here is not a get out of jail free card it has nothing to do with reserving your rights in the form that you think it does this is more about uh liability issues within contract law you freaking moron that's all that's about under the law it says that if there's no injured party she had no reason to identify herself which she didn't and they proceeded to gain jurisdiction in an all unlawful way um it, it, we have footage and we have audio recording of everything we're actually currently requesting body cams um we're just looking for some this this shouldn't even be a hard case to be honest yeah all that you just said you might as well just go ahead and shove it back in that well, garbage disposal that you found it in because, well, the lawyer is going to tell you where to put it here in the next few minutes. So you might want to be prepared for that. There's so much evidence on our... Did they touch her? Um, no, they did not. No, but they did take pictures of, of her with uh, their personal phones. They, uh, yeah. So this is a, you, you want to go get the police department? I mean, well... Is that he? Is that he wants to say who, 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 the police that pulled her over was the state police, the county police? Um, um, honestly, I'm not sure. Like re regular city cops, but I don't, I'm not sure. Like regular okay. officers. Where, okay. And what city was it? Oh, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Bethlehem. I mean, you didn't say that. I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. Um. Uh, can can I can I elaborate a little bit more on that? You can. Okay, so, and then, so after this whole situation, um, I ver and I, there's filed complaints already. There's been over six, seven complaints um, because I actually have audio recording and video recording of the DMV stating that I am not under contract with the state of Pennsylvania pertaining to my private property. So I actually have recording of that on my behalf. I went to the DMV and I asked them. I surrendered everything pertaining to the state. So police officers shouldn't have jurisdiction over my property. You know, I do I do my due diligence on my behalf, you know? Bullshit! Bullshit! Yeah, I'm gonna have to call bullshit on all that because I doubt that the DMV would uh, say that you are exempt from the laws or anything like that. Yeah, I seriously doubt that. Unless they somehow, uh, somebody along the line misinterpreted or, or somebody like you misrepresented anything, I'm calling bullshit on that. Um... But you, you do admit that the car was unregistered. The vehicle was unregistered. Yeah, absolutely. Because if it was registered, then then I, they would have. I would be fully accountable for everything they're doing. But I but I don't think on their behalf they know the law. They don't know the constitution. Okay. And that's that's what the lady at the DMV was telling me. She was saying, well, as long as you're not registered, they technically. Like they, how are they doing this? Even she was confused because when you are registered, when you do have a driver's license, when you do have that, the state does have jurisdiction over you. And we verbally. But, but I think what they're trying to say is that it's unlawful to be on the road in an unregistered vehicle. Yeah. So I, I actually have the Supreme Court case that one pertaining to the to the. Uh, the 14th amendment and it states clearly that no state should ever uh require uh turn a, a a right into a privilege and we stated dude your argument is as clear as mud right now i mean just this piece of crap document you got right here is not enough to prove your case i mean you gotta have something more substantial you gotta show the actual rulings not just what this opinion is right here and if you can't show it then you don't know it verbally on the record which is like we have multiple recordings 20 minute recordings saying that she was not driving uh, publicly she was traveling traveling in a private capacity and they 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 violated her rights in every way like it's it's clear as day it's it's black and white we were also requesting their body cams because they we we, we verbally spoke to them and and i tried to even go to the police department and show them the 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 confirmation that all contracts with the state were canceled 
Like they're in the wrong 110%. I, I just need a lawyer that's that's gonna be able to represent this. We have all the evidence on our behalf. We um we have we have we're using the correct terms in the police complaints. You know we're going by what, the. Go ahead. What, what is your name? Justin. Okay, can I place you on a brief hold? Please, please. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Mm -hmm. Justin? Yes, hey. Hi. I'm going to give you the phone number to the PA Bar Association, okay? Okay. And what exactly is that? That is, what that is, is it's um, statewide. They have a list of attorneys, what they practice in, um, what you specialize in. And I think if you explain your situation to them, they would be able to point you in the right direction to an attorney that might be able to help you. Because at the end of the day, I think you would you would be wanting to sue the police department, and we don't do that. Okay. No lawyers there um, do anything with constitutional, the 14th Amendment? Well, no. We do constitutional law, but not the 14th Amendment. Oh, uh, okay, okay. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate the time. Want the phone number? Oh yeah, sure, sure, please. Okay, it's eight hundred. Uh huh. Three two six. Okay. Nine one. Nine seven seven. Seven seven. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, have a good one. You too. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's not a, it's, it's Now, take note of this. There are four definitions on the screen. Only two of them are cited as to where they came from. One of them is correct. The other one is not correct. The uh, citation on the bottom where with motor vehicles is the one from the uh, federal government. But the thing is, given the Tenth Amendment, he's going to have to go to the... Uh, Pennsylvania definition of motor vehicle, which is pretty much the same as the Black's Law def definition of motor vehicle, and it is not the one above it right there. Now, uh, as far as automobile goes, that definition he has up there on the uh, top right is, I don't know where he got that from, that that's a bunch of BS. Now you look at the uh, one that says conveyance on there. That's not exactly what uh, Black's Law Dictionary says about conveyance. Uh, I don't know where he got that from either. So basically, you've pretty much failed on all uh, definitions right here. Dude, why don't you go back to the drawing board and try it again? Not a motor vehicle and you keep saying that. And I'm not trying to be a smart ass, but you keep- You are being a smart ass, so was it a car? Yes, it was an automobile. Agree on the definition of no, on here, I'll put it up right now on, on multiple versions of the Black's Law Dictionary, and there is a difference. That's what I'm trying to get across, but you're not even trying to hear me out. I, I want to come to okay, some type of... What, what kind of thing was on the road on October 16th? It was a automobile. Did you have the facts? Did you have the facts? It was an automobile, correct. It was an automobile. Correct. An automobile. And, 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 okay. this, and, this, and this is all... Yes, correct. Four wheels, four wheels, an engine, a steering wheel, everything in between. Very good. Yeah. Okay. And was it being operated on a public street? No. It was, we were traveling. I wasn't operating because operating means uh, public capacity. We were traveling. And and this is also what Where I'm trying to... Where did you get your... Which fucking law dictionary are you reading? Um, every... Can explain to you the law? I mean, I'm going based so, off of every... The vehicle in motion was someone driving it? No, the automobile was traveling. It was never being operated. Operated implies okay, so, commerce. So, what is it? What? so now here's the thing. You appear to be an uneducated moron who's trying to tell a lawyer who went to school for nearly a decade to get his law degree uh, what the what you perceive the correct definitions to be, and you're wondering why he's getting pissed off at you, dude. You're bringing this on yourself. Nah, 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 nah. Um, no. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Yeah, it wasn't in a commercial okay. capacity. Are we... It was behind the wheel, right? Correct, correct, yep. Absolutely. And as it was traveling, this person was behind the wheel operating. Okay, let me get the paper. Sure. Yes, you see, the, yeah, I'm glad you said traveling. That is the definition of operating a motor vehicle. Oh! But you, but but you keep using the motor vehicle part, and that's where the disconnect is. So, so look, look, I have it pulled up right here. I have it pulled up right here. So automobile definition and legal meaning. It says a vehicle with four wheels and engine. Hold on. Yeah, so gasoline is the fuel transportation. Some have electrical or water run, uh, run engines as well. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, well, I, well, the thing. My wife was, my wife was traveling. Yes, it was my wife. Okay. All right. No, no, but I, but the, what I was trying to get to explain to you is that I, I make sure that my verbiage is correct because I'm, in the black, all black law. I don't, I don't care about your verbiage. I care about the facts. I don't care about your verbiage. I don't care about your verbiage. I care about the facts. Yeah, and the fact is that the, this idiot is totally bastardizing all the verbiage to begin with because it's coming all down to confirmation biased with him. It's, it's only correct if it suits his agenda. So in other words, Mr. Attorney, uh, you're wrong all the way with this idiot, even though you are obviously the one who is the correct one here. Which I don't need to because uh, it's covered in the vehicle. Yeah, any time a vehicle operates on a roadway, it, you are in the jurisdiction of the police. No. In Pennsylvania, in that land specifically. Jurisdiction relates to the location of where it is to occur. And there we go. This lawyer has just said something that I have been trying to convey to these soft tarts for quite a while now that uh, location is all about jurisdiction, but the uh, soft hearts just want to argue about other forms of uh, jurisdiction that make no sense in a legal aspect just to suit their needs. Correct, operating and I, and that's that also means that I'm in a public capacity, correct? Are you stupid or something? It means that it, there's a car called the motor vehicle. The thing called the motor vehicle. The thing called the motor vehicle. Yeah, but that but that's what I mean. Like I, I, I was stating that I have an automobile because there is a difference and, and I and I like that's what I was trying to tell you the first time. I wasn't trying to be like a smart ass or anything. Like the verbiage no, I'm gonna be the smart ass here. Automobile. It means that it is it is a vehicle. It is a vehicle. Okay. 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 No, four wheels that get me from point A to point B. Correct. Yeah, no. I mean, but 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 it, there, there is a difference, though, right? Okay, so I was. Yeah, yeah. Hello, sir. Or something like that. Hello, sir. 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 Hello
like that. No, no. So I wasn't actually. I wasn't even in the car. This is the. This is where I believe the invasion of privacy comes in because. In the car. No, 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 no. I was. They actually. How were you? I was in front. I was actually outside. Outside, you know, by the car. Yeah, yeah. Outside of the car. Outside of the car. Were you in the car prior to it being pulled? No, not at all. Okay. Were you walking on the street? This uh, happened right in front of the house. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the initial, the initial. So, yeah, think, think about this. You know, talk to me like I'm some goofball in a bar. You're explaining the story to me. Without the legal issue, you're explaining the story to me. Okay. 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 Okay